Batteries are arguably one of humanity's most important inventions. Their discovery allowed the development of all the portable gadgets we use today, and they only seem to get better and better, powering our cars and even our houses in the future. But even today we all have a lot of battery-operated devices around the house, like clocks, radios, cameras, remote controllers, or flashlights. And chances are high we've put one in a drawer somewhere, only to forget about it, and to pull it out later and notice that it doesn't turn on, probably because the batteries died. But not all batteries die the same. While some just simply run out of juice, others seem to leave your battery compartment in a very rusty and powdery mess, possibly even damaging it. So if you ever wondered why do some batteries like to leak, you are in the right spot because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to search this entire wonderful universe for answers to the most important questions and explain them to you like you are five. So let's find out why do batteries like to leak. A battery is nothing more than a device that uses a chemical reaction to generate electrical energy. A typical battery has an anode at the negative side, a cathode at the positive side, and an electrolyte in between, typically a dry powder or sometimes a liquid. When you place your battery inside a device, this electrolyte creates an abundance of electrons on the negative side and a void of electrons on the positive side. So your electrons will rush from the negative side to the positive, making your device run in the meanwhile. But the electrolyte also produces a surplus of hydrogen gas in the battery, and this surplus leads to a very high internal pressure in the cell. Sometimes this outer casing of the cell ruptures, leaking the electrolyte. This can happen because maybe the battery went past its expiration date, maybe it's been used improperly, or maybe it's just bad luck sometimes. When the electrolyte makes contact with the air, it reacts with the carbon dioxide in it, turning into a white powder that covers the batteries and the terminals. This solution is highly corrosive, often making terminals and batteries rusty, and it also irritates the skin and eyes, so if you ever find a leaky battery, avoid touching the powder directly. Different batteries use different electrolytes but most of today's batteries are alkaline and this means that if you want to clean a leak you need to use an acid substance. You can use vinegar or lemon juice, you just need to put a drop on the leak and then use a cotton swab to get rid of the powder from the terminals. If you want to avoid leaks altogether, try to check the expiration date on the packaging. Don't leave your batteries inside of devices that you're not using for a long period of time and don't try to mix and match batteries. This only increases the chance of leaks. And if you watched my video up until this point, there are high chances that you might enjoy my other ones. So make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, maybe also hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for watching this one. My name is Andrew Dandrew. Have an awesome day, week, and I'll see you next time.